What's going on everybody, 3 Man Broadcast here, I'm your host, Unpredictable60, bringing you guys the next unboxing video, and uh, today I'm going to be unboxing, as you guys can see right here in front of me, the GoPro Hero 4, as you guys can see, it's the 4 Silver Edition, and let's check out some of the specs on here, um, you see we got the, um, let's see if I can't focus this up for you guys real quick, um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do so, anywho, you guys can see that now. Uh, we'll have 1080p, 60 frames per second. We'll have uh, 12 megapixels. I'm assuming that's what that means. And we'll have um, control view share, which I don't know what that is. But it looks like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And the Hero 3 actually had that. And I just never really read the directions on how to use it. But the uh, Bluetooth's pretty cool because you can sync the camera with your phone and actually view on your phone what you're seeing through the GoPro, which on this one, I mean, you can hardly see that, but you can actually see what you're doing on the back of this GoPro. But let me just go ahead and get this unboxed for you guys so you guys can see everything that it comes with. This was about $400. This actually was like $423 from what I remember. $422, depending on where you go. It's really not that big a difference in tax price, but um, I, that's the cheapest you're going to get it as of right now. Unless you went to Amazon and maybe found a deal on it. Then, I mean, this is brand new, and this is actually, I got it from Walmart, because I'll tell you the story as I'm trying to open this thing. Um, so, I had gone to Dick's Sporting Goods, and when I went there, that's where actually where I got the first version of this camera, and um, when I while I was there at, at Dick's, I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's taking forever for the lady to freaking bring me the thing, and... Um, so you guys real fast, what you can see right here. Um, I don't know if you can actually read any of that. I mean, that's clear, but anyways, I was at Dick's Sporting Goods and I'm assuming, oh, you know, I'm getting the cameras fresh out of the box. It's fresh coming out of the um, that little storage case they have up front. And I'm assuming, well, what can possibly go? You know, I'm not even having in any shot. Uh, I, I had no doubt that, of course, I'm getting what I paid for and it's gonna work to perfection you know but sure enough I don't know why or how why, why would they even do that but I get my camera and I, and I start to take it apart actually you know I gave it to Josh to open for me while I was doing other stuff and um, he opens the thing and we get to where we were going and I we, we look at everything and I'm like wait a minute he showed me the thing and I'm like I'm like, did you really just break this thing? Like the cord inside. I'm gonna show you guys the cord I'm talking about. If I can figure out how to get this open. But the cord inside, like the charging cord, that had actually broke. Like it was already broken we bought when I got it. And I'm like, I just paid 400 bucks for something like this. I mean, they got this thing pretty sealed up tight. And I was just like, did they, did they really just sell, try to sell somebody something like this? And they sold it to me, of course. Of all people, I have that crap going on. And I just feel like everything has just been against me these last few days. I mean, I've, I've had a really long and kind of rough week. But let's see what it comes with. We got to uh, say, oh, owner's manual. Got um, pretty much everything that came in the Hero 3 is in this Hero 4 thing. You got your manual right here you got a couple stickers you want to put that on your car I guess or wherever you want to put it your Xbox um, your mini fridge refrigerator I don't care what I mean it's just stickers you can put whatever you want to um, this is probably just a safety information manual what it says down there and got your warranty right here I mean hell you should keep your receipt if you really want a warranty but I mean, these things are kind of meant to take damage and they're kind of built for that purpose to be able to receive damage from them. What, like, as, as, I mean, we, we, there was a video of a, a GoPro surviving a, a skydive. You know, some guy actually let go of it and it, it, it survived, it survived, it still works. I mean, I'm sure he still uses it to this day. Maybe he got the Hero 4, but I'm um, actually taking the screw out so I can Pull this off here. I mean, it's pretty cool looking. Got your little well, window thing on the back here. Um, it's like got a sticker on it or something. 
trying to see what that is. Um, I think I got it. But, I mean, it, it was just crazy that... I'm trying to see. What, what is up with this thing? Why is it doing this? I'm telling you guys, I, I've just had a long week. You know, I, I actually just got back from Georgia. And then I'm like, you're going to see that video, all the footage I got. Not with this thing, of course, but with... There we go. Got that off. It's like some, some kind of adhesive. The weird. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to take this out of here real fast. See if it opens this. I don't know if I like this design. Like the one on the Hero 3 was a lot more secure than this. This one kind of feels cheap. I mean, it's just really cheap plastic to me. And uh, we opened a little window back here. You can actually see a little door right here. You can see the cable. Um, you can see how there's a little screen on here. I don't know if it turns on. I haven't charged you. You just saw me open it. I don't think it comes with a charge. So anyway, um, you, you can see right here, there's a little screen on here for you guys. And you can see that you can actually view what you're looking at through. You, you can actually hold it up and see. You can be like, eh, I'm filming in front of me right now. Ha -ha. And then you see, you'll see all the stuff that's in front of you right here, which is what I needed from the last one. And I sold that Hero 3 to my good friend Josh. He's like a brother to me. And I, I sold it to him. I mean, I just never used it. And it wasn't because of that one thing, but I just never had a use for it because I didn't really go anywhere to use it. And that was one of the biggest things was that I want to be able to go out and do things with the GoPro. Like play paintball or whatever else it is that I want to use it for. Let's see, we got uh, the, um, I guess this is an outside window for some reason. I don't know, maybe an extra window. It kind of looks like this one, honestly. Let me see the two here. I think it just looks like this, this, but... This one looks like this one to me, but I mean, either way, we got that. We also have an extra, I don't really know what this is. Um, whatever this is, I don't really know. Um, kind of weird looking, but yep, yeah, that's that. And sorry if my voice is a little messed up. I was screaming at Six Flags again. Yeah, funny stuff. This is the charging cable that I was talking about that in the other case was actually ripped. And I thought that was pretty pathetic that, you know, I'm buying something that's $400. And if you see this cord, it's it's perfectly fine. You see? It, like, it's not severed at all. The other cord was, like, completely severed. Like, the red piece on the inside, the inside of this thing was cut. And I'm like, I mean, that's a pretty deep cut. For it to be if it was just like open that would have been kind of fine I mean I wouldn't have made a big deal about that but it was cut and you couldn't even use it this thing is probably for like putting on your car or helmet or something like that I'm assuming I mean you can see how it curves right here and I mean I think that's pretty cool because I mean you can actually have this on the side and I guess you could do it like this You could do it like this and have it, you know, hanging off to where you can actually look like that or have it forward or however you wanted it. I'm not sure if it does like the side view as like, I don't know, because the Hero 3, you could not, if you had it up on sideways, it was going to show up sideways. Your video was going to show up sideways if you had it this way. But if you have it like this or like this, you can have it flipped. I don't know if this one will have that feature to have the side camera as you're up because... I just know that the Hero 3 did not have that feature. They might have updated it. I can't wait to test it out and see. This is another window, I'm guessing. We got one last thing in here. And we have little uh, adhesive mounts. You can put these on just about anything. You can put on the dash of your your car if you wanted like a, a dash cam, honestly. And you can have it facing toward you outside the window. But this is this is pretty much all that comes with it. Um, this is the GoPro Hero 4. I'm a big fan of using this software because I just think this is a very convenient thing if you like do anything outside a good bit, like go hiking or swimming or whatever it is, or tubing, whatever you might think, you know, that you're doing out there. And you might need a GoPro or something to, just to get all the footage, or even riding roller coasters at Six Flags. Um, but I would probably definitely recommend this because I have seen quality on these cameras and it's really nice actually. I mean, I can't wait to use this one. But I'll be playing around with this one a lot more and seeing about 
you know whatever I need to do and if you guys enjoyed this video then please hit that like button make sure you guys tell all your friends to share this video as well as yourself also make sure you subscribe for more unboxing videos and anything else you want to see me unbox and please let me know in the comment section below on that note this has been your broadcast until next time guys <laughs>